back at Rainbow for another session and uh, it's November now and for a change we're around in swims one and two it's uh, probably the, the biggest area of open water on the lake there's not so much, well there is bars here but they're quite deep most of the water's more deep and more open than the rest of the lake so this time of year it's normally a decent area of the lake some of the big ones come from here and there's normally a few fish to be found hiding away somewhere out there so uh, let's we'll see if we can find the right spots get the bait out there see if we can catch a few not a monster by rainbow standards but a good start anyway 49 and a half first morning on the lake we're in uh, one or two this time and it was the first time I've tested out a new bait here on the tandoori garlic and I put about four kilos out last night um, I guessed it might be a good bait here and it's still early days yet but you know they certainly got through a bit last night and uh, this one was you know look, say first thing this morning the bait had been out about 12 hours I suppose so uh, they munched through a fair old bit and there's a lot of fish showing out there so I think there'll be a few more but anyway yeah nice start well second one of the first day 47 and a quarter mirror and uh, on the little scope on the, the nine foot four and a half and the BP 10 reel brilliant bits of kit these little scopes I love using them and uh, perfect for playing fish from the boat typical just as dinner's nearly ready <laughs> goes and gets a run bit of afternoon action in swim one for Hill Sony there we go could be a big one this one come back to you when we've got it in well, there we go been confined to me bivy for the last three days with a bit of food poisoning Obviously the French food doesn't agree with me. Um, so it was very, very pleasing to have a, a run this morning. I had my second fish of the trip. As you can see, it's not the biggest of rainbow carp, but uh, very welcomed nonetheless. Nice, long looking mirror, dark, beautiful. Great stuff. Well, I'll get him back now and hopefully get some more. <clears throat> on top, isn't it? You got another, your other one's going. Your other one's off. <laughs> Alright, we'll just zoom over to Joan, Joan in action. There we go. This is Nash at its best. Team Briggsy giving it some stick on Rainbow. Well, it was a bit of a performance, a mad half hour, but we ended up with both fish on the bank anyway. Uh, I was just playing this one, which I'll show you in a sec, which turned out to be 57 and a half pound and uh, cracking mirror. And the other one, which went off while I was playing it, was uh, 24 pound, which Joan managed to land. Which we got in a bit of a tangle out there, but thankfully we ended up with both fish on the bank anyway. So we put the 24 back, but I'll just show you this one because it is. An absolutely lovely fish. Typical rainbow, big chunky mirror, hard fighting, hell of a scrap out there. But um, that's what we come here for. That's what rainbow is all about. Big mirrors like this. And there's plenty more out there, I think. Just building the swim up nicely. Again, it was over a load of bait, about four kilos of uh, mixture of the TG and coconut cream. Um, but they're munching it all. You know, I had one on this rod earlier, um, nice common, and now this one, so it ain't been out there long. 
so they're definitely on the munch. They want a bit of the bait, so I better get this one back and get a bit more out there. <laughs> Right, there's been a few people say to me that they actually want to see how I drop a bait and what I'm actually doing when I drop a bait. So literally just had a fish on this rod, so I'm putting it back out. So I'll go through what I'm doing. Right, I'm fishing a hump here that's just, well, 14 foot, foot yeah, just touching 14 foot at its peak. And uh, that's where I'm fishing, about 14 to 14 one if I can find it. Um, there's the rig, big lead, quite a long combi link hook length, uh, double TG hook bait and a, a bottle rig. That's an, an Avid bottle, which uh, not bad, pretty good. Um, so, I'll just get that up to about 14.2 if I can. And that's what I'm looking for. There we go. 14, 3, 14, 2. That's about perfect there. So I'm going to drop it there. So, right. Rig's nice and straight. Throw backwards. So that just drops down to the bottom. And it's hit bottom there. And then all I do, lift to make sure it's on the firm bottom. And that, yeah, that's nice there actually. Okay, so the rig's in place. Right, now for the bait. Now, in here, you can see there's, there's a fair old bit of bait in here. There's pellets, MP mix, and coconut cream, about a kilo of each. And I add to that a kilo of the TG. So that's all going in there. And that, that is all going out around this hook bait. Now it might seem a lot of bait, and I suppose it is a fair bit. It certainly seems a lot when you're throwing it out. Get some funny looks. But, everywhere I've been, I keep saying it, but everywhere I've been, I've been putting a lot of bait out. And it's been working, so I've carried on doing it. But again, I've turned, turned up here at Rainbow. It's fishing a bit slow, but I've been putting loads of bait out and uh, had plenty of action. Well, I had 10 fish now, up to 57, so... Like I say, it, it looks a whole lot of bait when this is going out, but some of these rods ain't been out very long before they're going off, so these fish are coming in and having a right old munch on this. A lot goes round the actual bottle, I use the bottle as a marker because that's coming up straight off the rig. Uh, don't want it all right on top of the hook bait obviously so I do a little line around of just spreading them out. So there's loads of bait literally all around the area it's, you know so they can come in they can come in and have a munch and the bait's not right next to them so I say it looks like a shed load of bait and it is a fair old bit but they get through it in no time at all these fish they really do go that's all the boilie and pellet just a few that dropped in the boat and then one more thing to do is the hemp there and literally what I do with that tighten up to the bottle and make sure I'm right on top of the rig there we go. and then a load of hemp right on top of the hook bait
and there we go. Now, like I said, you know that it's a lot of bait, no matter what way you look at it. And people talk about putting three, four kilos of bait out, and uh, it don't sound much until you actually get it in your hands and put it out yourself. But that's plenty of bait. But it's catching the fish. That's the main thing. It's working. So now all I do go back to the bank in a straight line, feather in the line and uh, tighten up when I get back and there we are, the bottle rig in position ready for action well, it was hectic from about midnight onwards it will take up, I was 12 on a close rod that I moved yesterday and that was one of the sturgeon we first one out of here in 10 years <laughs> 34 pounds I think. Uh, put him back and about half hour later had a 41 mirror and then just now at 8 o'clock um, the other rod's gone off. The only one that never went off was what has been the banker rod but the other three went off and the last one was this one which was just over 50 pounds, 50 and a quarter. Um, but, and Gary had one as well so it's been a hectic night. But fish are out there jumping all the time now, jumping all through the night so there's, there's plenty in the swim. And they're eating well, so uh, you know, there's going to be more, I think. And we've just got hope for one of those big lumps in amongst them, but um, it's going well anyway, that's the main thing. It's getting late, it's a bit dark, but just about to see this hopefully. Just had this cracker anyway, 53 pound. Good well, nice end of the day, 47.12. Nice chunky mirror, old fighting mirror. Off uh, a plateau over there, 15 foot. Which is... Well, it's Monday morning and uh, nice comment to start a day off, 45 pound. You just never know. You never know when it's going to go. And there we go. 42 pound. A big fat mirror carp. And uh, well, there seems to be a whole bunch of fish around the 20 kilo mark out there at the moment. A whole group of them. And here's another one. 44 pound mirror. I don't know how many 40s we've got in the swim, but here's another one, 44 and a half pound. And uh, there must be loads of them out there. It seems like we're on a shoal of mid 40s, commons and mirrors. And uh, not getting the monsters, but we're sure getting the action. Yeah, it's early morning, just getting light now. Just had one actually, 44 and a half mirror, another nice 40. Uh, there's a lot of activity out there this morning. Don't know if you can see any of this, it's too dark, but fish showing all over the place out there. Slow day yesterday, not much happened. We had a quite a strong wind blowing from behind us and uh, it went, went cold, but the fish didn't seem to like it where it was. Another one just showed there. Um, but we've had quite a bit of rain this morning, very mild morning, um, but literally fish showing around all of the baits out there so uh, it's almost a matter of which one goes first I think or next well nearing the end of the session but Gary's just got his best one of the trip so far still time yet but this one's just over 50 pound absolutely lovely common and uh, the best of many fish this trip great fish that one well done, that man. Cheers. <laughs>
Well, it's Friday morning now, last full day of the trip. We're off in the morning, so don't know if this is going to be the last fish, but um, there's plenty showing out there again. But this, yet another 40, 44 and a half pound cracking fish, and uh, might not be the last, but if it is, it's a nice way to finish anyway. It's been a great trip. We've had over 40 fish now, most of them like this, 40 pounders really. Um, but there's been others around the lake, bigger fish, but we've had stacks of action and it's another great trip so uh, love fishing this place and well won't be too long before I'm back again but there we go see you next time